Okay, so I may have been completely wrong about something. I've often said that because my mama wasn't a crackhead, that oftentimes uh, DC's Child and Family Services Agency, CFSA, our version of CPS, allowed her to get away with a lot of her abuse towards me. There was an incident where uh, they became involved because my mother fractured my jaw. She stepped on my face, hit me with an object. I was treated at Children's National Medical Center and CFSA still allowed me to return home, didn't charge my mother, didn't mandate any services. And I often had said because my mom wasn't a crackhead. She appeared to be good, clean, black folk, well-to-do. But over the last two days, a woman by the name of Benita Jax has been on my mind something heavy. A Washington, D.C. mother has been found guilty of killing all four of her daughters. We're not going to be sensitive here. Benita Jax looks like a crackhead. Benita Jax and her four daughters were under the review investigation by the D.C. Child and Family Services Agency. Again, our version of CPS, the same agency that didn't protect me and allow me to go home. Uh, the school and neighbors have reported that her, her daughters looked like they were being abused. When it was learned, D.C. Social Services had been asked to help the children, but they didn't. Over the course of seven months time, D.C. Child and Family Services Agency did no home visit, did no investigation. Mummified bodies, the girls had been dead for seven months. Evidence showed the youngest girls, who ranged in age from 11 to 5, were strangled. Experts say the oldest one, 16-year-old Brittany, was stabbed. And their remains were bones. I'm back. I'm good. It's something with me and just hearing about little DC girls dying. All of this just brought me to the awareness that maybe it just wasn't that my mother didn't look like a crackhead, that the Child and Family Services Agency, DC Police Department and courts didn't protect me. It probably had more to do with we live in a society and world that whether black girls, black teenagers, black women, we're not believed when we have valid and visible signs of violence, whether it be sexual assault, physical assault, um, verbal abuse, the world just doesn't believe, it, believe us or see any humanity in us.